Cowboys 10 meters Louis DeLuca, staff photographer Dallas Cowboys wide receiver Alan Hearns, 17, talks with teammates on the bench during the Dallas Cowboys vs. The Carolina Panthers NFL football game at Bank of America Stadium in Charlotte, North Carolina on Sunday, September 9, 2018. Louis DeLuca, the Dallas Morning News by SportsDDFW.com at SportsDDFW Here are 10 things to know about Dallas Cowboys wide receiver Alan Hearns. Alan Hearns was born on November 12, 1991 in Miami. The 6'3", 201-pound receiver attended Miami Carroll City High School and attended the University of Miami. He went undrafted in 2014 and spent the first four years of his career with the Jacksonville Jaguars, agent 88 Hearns Warno. 88 for his entire Jaguars career. His nickname? None other than Agent 88, which is pretty awesome. Don't believe us? Check out his Twitter. But he switched his number after signing with the Cowboys in honor of the 17 victims of the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas School shooting in Florida in 2018. Hearn's breakout season came in 2015, when he caught 64 passes for 1,031 yards and 10 touchdowns and 15 starts for the Jaguars. Jacksonville gave Hearns a four-year, $40 million extension after his massive season, but his production dipped after that. Hearns caught 74 passes for 961 yards and five touchdowns in the ensuing two seasons combined, but his 2015 performance caught the eye of many at the time. The NFL Network even named him as one of the league's top 100 players. You can check out the highlights from that season, below, all Diaz, MCT Miami wide receiver Alan Hearns celebrates in the end zone following a touchdown against Ohio State in the first quarter at Sun Life Stadium in Miami, Florida, Saturday, September 17, 2011. All Diaz, Miami Herald, MCT, before his NFL accomplishments, Hearns had an illustrious career at the University of Miami. Hearns caught 62 passes for 1,162 and 6 touchdowns in his senior season in 2013. The team named him their MVP for the 2013 season. Snowstorm Cowboys can in part thank a snowstorm for getting Hearns to Dallas. Multiple teams were interested in Hearns after Jacksonville released him. Hearns was originally supposed to visit the Jets in New York before visiting with the Cowboys, but that trip was postponed after a big snowstorm hit the Northeast. Instead, Hearns visited the Cowboys first and the rest is history. As Sports Day's Kevin Sherrington and David Moore said on the Ballsy podcast before the visit that snowstorm was a godsend. More, there's going to be a lot of interest in him in the market but the impending snowstorm in the Northeast helps the Cowboys here because he was going to go to the Jets, cancelled that because of weather, he couldn't get in, and now he's going to come here first. So if Dallas really wants him, they won't let him leave the building, Sherrington, this is God protecting America's team, Hearns maintains a close relationship with his mother, Erica Wilson. In this video filmed while at Miami, Hearns explained why one of his biggest fears is letting down his mom. Wilson raised Hearns as single mother after a rough upbringing. Wilson and Hearns established a 88 Blessings, a non-profit designed to help single mothers. Hearns paid tribute to his mother and 88 Blessings with special cleats during the 2017 season and always makes sure to give his mom a shout out on his social media accounts. The influence of Hearns' mother was felt on and off the field through the childhood of the Cowboys wide receiver, as highlighted in this 2018 profile by Sports Day's Kate Hairopolis. Football helped Wilson raise Hearns with an emphasis on education, if you didn't bring me good grades, she said, you couldn't play, despite tearing the meniscus in his knee his senior year at Carroll City Senior High, Hearns went on to play at his dream college. He earned his degree from Miami, a must, Wilson said. She, too, went to school, earning first her high school diploma, then an associate's degree from Broward College. Read more, why Alan Hearns has a chance to be really good for the Dallas Cowboys You read that right. Hearns has a grass allergy which causes rashes on his skin. ESPN's Michael DiRocco wrote about Hearns' allergy in 2016, and said Hearns wears long tights and a long-sleeved shirt when on the field. 
Kearns said he found out about his grass allergy by accident in high school. He was diagnosed with a seafood allergy and underwent skin testing from an allergist to see if he was allergic to anything else. Grass popped up, which explained why he would have rashes on his arms, legs and sometimes his neck after practices and games. Kearns said he doesn't experience breathing problems. His nose doesn't get stuffy or runny either. He has skin breakouts that vary in degrees. Some days they're barely there. Other days he said he has to take a Benadryl after practice or games if it's a particularly severe breakout. Gruesome injury Hearn's first season with the Cowboys did not end as anyone would have hoped. The receiver suffered a gruesome injury to his left ankle during the Cowboys playoff win over the Seattle Seahawks. The injury occurred on Dallas' second offensive possession of the game. Hearns made a 14-yard catch for a first down on third and seven, but Seattle safety Bradley McDougald fell on Hearns' leg as he came down with the ball. Replays showed the moment when the ankle snapped, and it immediately became evident that Hearns was in intense pain. Smiley N. Pool, staff photographer Dallas Cowboys head coach Jason Garrett checks on wide receiver Alan Hearns, 17, as he receives medical attention after being injured on a play during the first half of an NFL wildcard playoff football game against the Seattle Seahawks at it. 5, 2019, in Arlington, Smiley and Pool, the Dallas Morning News, many fans and other NFL players would reach out to Hearns after the injury. Comeback trail despite the January injury, the Cowboys picked up Hearn's contract option for next season and hope to see him make his return to the field. Hearns played in every regular season game last year, catching 20 passes for 295 yards and two touchdowns. He's expected to make a full recovery, and the club is hopeful that he'll be able to fully participate by training camp. We do see him playing football this year, Cowboys coach Jason Garrett said. I don't think there's any question about that. The surgery was clean, and the rehab has been good up to this point.